Global citizenship education is being proposed as one of the common global goals clearly indicated in the Sustainable Development Goals and the Education 2030 Framework for Action. Consequently, the importance of GCED in achieving the SDGs has been internationally recognized. The Philippines, along with the other member states of the United Nations, committed to achieving the 17 Sustainable Development Goals, including the 169 targets, by 2030. These SDGs concur with the 2017 to 2022 Philippine National Development Plan in the country's long-term goal and aspirations stipulated in the Ambition Act in 2040. Of the 17 SDGs, Goal 4 addresses quality education that should be inclusive and equitable. Specifically, the SDG Target 4.7 emphasized the key role of GCED in promoting sustainable development. Outstanding among others. The Department of Education has declared its support to mainstream GCED into the curriculum development process, upskilling and reskilling of in-service teachers, instructional materials development, and in-classroom instruction. In particular, Secretary Leonor Magtolis Briones mentioned during the third international conference in GCED held on the 5th of September 2018 that GCED should not be limited to the concepts. They should be linked to history, culture, and contemporary developments. GCED can be perceived differently based on the local, national, and regional contexts. Contextualization is important in order for GCED to root down firmly at the local level and transform individuals and the greater society to build a more peaceful, just, and sustainable world. Participation of the Department of Education in the kick-off meeting of GCED Curriculum Development and Integration reaffirmed its full commitment to integrating GCED into the national curriculum. In the first phase of the project, the country's situational analysis was carried out to explore the Philippines' educational system and settings, socio-cultural milieu, key stakeholders, and policy-making mechanisms. In parallel with the situational analysis, a capacity-building workshop was organized to further facilitate policy dialogue on advocating and promoting GCED in the Filipino context and to reinforce the awareness and understanding of GCED among key players and stakeholders by composing a Curriculum Development Committee of the Philippines. In November 2020, the second phase of the GCED Curriculum Development and Integration in the Philippines was successfully delivered by the Philippine Normal University as Implementing Agency and the Department of Education as Partner Agency. The Phase 2 had four objectives. First is to develop the Philippine GCED Indicators. Second is to map Philippine GCED Indicators in the Basic Education Curriculum. Third is to develop the Philippine GCED Framework. Fourth is to elaborate the GCED framework in the Philippine K-12 curriculum. The purpose of this GSTED development and integration project in the Philippines has always been an engaging and participatory process of all the key stakeholders. The third phase of the project focused on the following objectives. First is to develop GCED Lesson Exemplars Manual. Second is to validate the GCED lesson exemplars. The 
Philippine Normal University GCED Consultants. Core Team With the participation of the Identified Cluster Coordinator. School Heads Teacher Writers and Teacher Validators the GCED lesson exemplars and presentation of pre-recorded teaching demonstration videos of the lessons. Araling Panlipunan Edukasyon sa Pagpapakatao English Music Arts Physical Education and Health Science Mathematics Mother Tongue With availability of these materials coupled with necessary capacity building for teachers, the integration and implementation of Philippine GCED in the basic education curriculum is possible. We are one step closer to developing Filipino global citizens who characterize the GCED competencies needed to live and help build a just, humane, peaceful, and sustainable society.